making waves in the wilderness, y'all. Rivers in the desert, yeah. This is the Isaiah song, y'all. I love this song. Um, who else is online this morning? As you guys come in, as they come in, you welcome them. We're going to go ahead and get started. I know it's Saturday morning. And it's been a drinking coffee. And probably did everything that we got to get ready to start doing. Amen. <laughs> but, um, hey ladies, are you excited? Today is day 20. Today is day 20. We are 24 hours away from completing, completing this journey. Amen. And, um, so today is day 20 and it's called Keep Walking. Sister Marilyn, good morning to you. Uh, we are getting ready for day 20. Keep walking. Keep walking. And I love day 20 because it just, it just reminds us of the process that we've been in for 20 days. Amen. It's a trivia. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Lori Ann. Listen, today is our keep walking day. It's our keep walking day, ladies. We're going to keep walking on today. Our key scripture, if you don't mind putting it in the comments, I didn't type it in there, was Luke. It's Luke. It's chapter 13. And we're uh, reading from the NIV verses uh, 10 through 13. She said, I'm not ready for the end. Me either. You know, me either. But maybe we'll think of something else for November. We'll think of something else for November. Amen. Because this has been good every day. Luke chapter 13, uh, 10 through 13. If you don't mind, can someone uh, tag Sister Tracy Holloman for me, please? Luke chapter 13, verses 10 through 13. And I'll be reading from the NIV on this morning. Um, and, of course, we're going to connect the dots. So our, our second passage of scripture that we're going to look at this morning is John chapter 11. And we're going to be specifically uh, looking at verses uh, 38 through 44. John chapter 11, um, uh, verses 38 through 44. And I'm going to be reading from the um, New Living Translation, I believe. That's what it is. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Today is our keep walking day our keep walking day and um like i was saying in the beginning that this day is it's like today is god is giving that us that uh that final push to uh get into day 21 it's a it's the final push to to keep uh walking uh and he gives us those two words keep walking so if you were wondering what should i be doing now um i've already um gave you my my um my yes i've already put my foot on it um i told you that um i would believe that wherever um i put my foot or whatever i put my foot on that you're going to give it to me that it's already done what do i do now where do i go from here um i've already dropped the weight um i've already believed that you will perform it you will pr uh, produce it um you will carry it uh you will not let me drag it but you will lift it what do I do now? What do I do now? And uh, God is saying on this morning, he's giving us that final push. He's giving us those two words. Here's your answer to that question. If you've been wondering what to do, it's to keep walking. It's to keep walking. He says, so what do you do now? I want you to keep walking. Arnett, I need you to keep walking. Lisa, I need you to keep walking. Tracy, I need you to keep walking. Helena, I need you to keep walking. Lori, I need you to keep walking. I need you to keep walking. Every woman that is watching this, that comes across this, I need you to keep walking. I need you to keep walking. And our key scripture on this morning comes from Luke chapter 13. Uh, we're looking at 10 through 13, and I'm reading the NIV, and it says, On a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues, and a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years, okay? She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. And when Jesus saw her, he called her forward. This is the key right here. He called her forth. He called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set from your infirmity. Then he put his hands on her and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Mm. This is what I wanted you to hear. These words. He called her forward. 
he called her forward in the new king james version he called her forward and when he called her she he told her that she was set free from the infirmity the infirmity she had been carrying for 18 long years he put his hands on her and immediately she straightened up and began to praise god amen amen and that's what i want to look at on today um that calling forward i'll come back to the book in a second but it was the calling forward um they caught my attention because, again, we've looked at this uh, passage of scripture as a Bible study before, but it was the calling forward, the calling forward that caught my attention. And, of course, I wanted to connect the dot because Jesus called someone else forth in the scripture, and it was the same calling forth that he gave this woman that he gives us in John chapter 11. When we look at John chapter 11, we're looking at um, Lazarus on today. We're looking at Lazarus on today. Yes, immediately, immediately. When he called her for it, immediately. It was immediate, immediate results, right? So this passage talks about the same calling forth that Jesus did with the woman in the infirmity for, for, for 18 years. And I'm going to um, read a bit of that scripture for you really quick. Let me grab my computer here. Um, uh, we're going to start at verses 38. And I told you I'm looking at the um, new living translation i believe that's what i pulled here yes 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 so we're going to be looking here at this really quick john chapter 11 if you don't mind putting that in the comments for me on this morning john chapter 11 starting at verses 38 through 44 is what we're going to take a look at on this morning and again, this is the same calling forward that we see with the woman who had the infirmity. It says, Jesus was, was still angry as he arrived at the tomb, a cave with a stone rolled across the entrance. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. But Martha, the dead man's sister, protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days and the smell will be terrible. Verse 40, Jesus responded, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here so that they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out. Uh, New King James Version says he told Lazarus, come forward. And Lazarus came out, his hands and feet bound in grave clothes, his face wrapped in a head cloth. And Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. In verse 43 is the key verse. He said, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus, come forth. The same come forth that we see with the woman with the infirmity for 18 years uh, was uh, with Lazarus in this tomb. The only difference that we see here is that when he told her to come forth, she was alive, right? But when he tells him to come forth, he's dead. That's the only difference that we see here. And the first thing that caught my attention is that it's the same come forward. It's the same come forward, but he's dead. And it reminded me that there are some dead situations, some, some things that have been lying dormant in this 19, 20, 21 days that we're in. That we've been asking, well, when is God going to resurrect this thing? When is he going to, to, to tell it to come forth? I've been praying. I've been lead, believing. I've been dropping the weight. Um, I've been putting my foot on it. But it's still dead. It's still lying dormant. And that's the part that gets me so excited is that the power of Jesus' words of come forward, come forth, get up, uh, raise up. I, all these things, those type of words that even the dead had to hear it. Even the dead have to hear it. Even the dead thing had to respond. And that's reminding me that the things that I'm still believing for that still haven't risen, that are still lying dormant, that I think are dead, that I think are dead. That you heard what I said, that I think are dead. They still got to respond, right? 
Yeah, they still have to respond and it's going to respond. And while I'm sitting here trying to figure it out, while you're sitting there trying to figure it out, when it's going to react to uh, my voice, God says, hey, I've given it to you. I've given you the same power that I have. I've given it to you. So he gives us that pattern on this morning in this scripture. He gives us a pattern on this morning of how to make that dead thing respond, how to make the dormant thing respond on this morning. And I love it because Jesus tells God on this morning, Lord, I know that you hear me. I know that you hear me. Essentially, I know that you hear me. I know that you know what I've been thinking. I know that you know what I want to do in this morning, in this moment right here. I want to make this dead thing rise so people can believe me when I say who you are, that I say that you are the great I am. And God is saying the same thing to his daughters on this morning. You got to follow that pattern. If you notice in verse 42 and you read this for yourself, he says this, Lord, I know you hear me and I thank you that you hear me. So because this great multitude of people are standing around, what am I going to do? I'm going to talk loud. I'm going to talk loud. And it says that. He says he got louder and he says, I'm going to talk loud to make sure that they heard me, to make sure that this dead thing hears me because it's going to respond and it's going to react. And that's what God is waiting on us to do this morning. When he tells us to keep walking, you got to still keep your mouth open open. It's not just the walk, but it's your mouth as well. Um, that's your walking right there. It's your mouth. You still got to keep your mouth open. Remember, the enemy wants to shut us up. If he can shut us up, get us to keep our mouths closed, he knows that no good thing will come to us. So he says on this morning, I need you to keep your mouths open. I need you to get loud with this thing. You want it to raise up. You want it to respond. Well, I need you to open your mouth. And on this morning, Jesus gives us this pattern. He says, I know that you hear me, God, and I thank you that you hear me. I know that you know what I'm trying to do in this mor this moment, and that is to get others to believe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get loud. I'm going to open up my mouth. I'm going to open up my mouth. And there's some things that, that we have to be reminded of that we can't just pray in our heart. Uh, we can't just feel it in our spirit. It's going to require us to open up our mouths to speak to that thing. You want it to react? You want it to respond? Well, you need to speak it. I need you to put now put that in the chat on this morning. Yes, keep your mouth open. Keep talking. I see you guys in the comments. I need you to remind your sis on this morning. You need to speak it. You got to declare it. You got to get loud. Yes, Helena, we got to get loud with this thing. So verse 43 says, he cried with a loud voice. He loud, y'all. He ain't talking like this. He loud. He loud. He cries with a loud voice. And see, I'm not a loud person, but I know, I know that when it's time to get loud, it's time to get loud. And with the enemy, we got to get loud. We got to start speaking and we got to start declaring it. We cannot keep our mouth shut. It says, verse 43, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And the dead thing started to walk, y'all. It started to walk. The dead thing began to get up. It started to get up. So you just got to speak to it. You got to declare it. And that's the Lazarus that we see in John chapter 11. And, and some of us are dealing with some Lazarus situations in our lives right now. We see it every day. We got some Lazarus situations, some dead situations, uh, some things that we're dealing with and we're trying to figure out when is God going to resurrect that thing. And maybe it's not that we should be waiting on God, but maybe God's just waiting on you. He's just waiting on you. Lorianne, he's just waiting on you this morning. Stephanie, he's just waiting, waiting on you. Tracy, he's just waiting on you. He's waiting on you to declare it, to get loud with it. Yes, Sister Marilyn, to get loud with it. Verse 44, uh, and this is the part that gets me is verse 44. And I'm going to get you guys, uh, let you guys go because I know you got a lot to do today. It says, and the dead man came out. He called them forth. He got up and he began to walk. This is my favorite part. The dead man came out. His hands and feet were bound, though, in grave clothes. His face was wrapped in a head cloth. But Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Uh, this is the favorite part of this, this passage, verse 44, because um, God, uh, Jesus, he gets some other people involved to participate in Lazarus' breakthrough, right? It says, Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. 
he goes and gets some other people involved in this. And there were some things that Jesus did that did not require uh, that he could do all by that he did all by himself. But there were some other things that he did that required man to do some work. So that's just a reminder, just confirmation from our sermon on Sunday is that God's going to do some things, but there's some effort we got to put in too. He says, this thing going to be 50-50. I'm going to do my part, but you still got to do your part. You still got to keep walking. You still got to keep talking on this morning because God says some of this stuff is going to be on you it's gonna be on you so yes you got to declare it you got to speak it and you got to walk this thing out he's okay because God um, he releases word he releases the word to us he releases the word through Bible study he releases the word to us when we're reading and studying on our own he releases the word through our pastor but he says when I release that word now you got to go do something with it we are obligated we have an obligation on us when he releases the word to us to do some work with it we can't just let it sit we got to go and walk the walk we still got to go yes walk it out we still got to go and talk it and when he releases the word we have to do the work that comes along with it amen and this is the season where where he's releasing i told you this he's releasing the mantle he's passing the baton to his daughters the kingdom is on our shoulders and he's saying i need you to do some work i need you to do some work um i need you to take this thing over i need you to be the carriers of the fire and this word this word come forth when i was studying it last night uh you know the new testament original language was greek so the greek translation um that was implied would come forth means one limb at a time oh this was a good part too y'all one limb at a time and this is how lazarus moved when he came out of the tomb okay he came out little by little like one move at a time like I'm serious. I might look funny doing this, but I'm saying it's one move at a time. And just think about this. When God is doing his work in you, it's it's a process, right? When you walk, you got to put the left foot in front of the right foot and then the right foot in front of the left foot. It's one move at a time. It is a process. So this thing you've been in on day one, uh, day five, uh, day 10, day 16, 19, 20, and then tomorrow, 21, it has all been a process. It has it's all been one move at a time he said come forth and when he moved um, it, it required him it required the dead thing to do to do some work too when he spoke to it it was a process Lazarus had to get up but it says come forth meaning I need you to get up and take this step one step at a time but it says here that he had to get some participants and he told them he said he came out he made the move and it's funny, it's not funny, but it's just amazing that this man had everything against him. But when God spoke to him, even in a dead state, he had been stuck there for four days, laying there for four days. Rigor mortis had, had set in, but all God had, all Jesus had to do, all he had to do was say, come forth. And that dead thing rose. Everything, even in a dead state, he had obstacles, right? And it still rose and it got past the obstacles. He still rose. That dead thing still rose. I just, I, this just came to me, y'all. And it's still, even with the obstacles in front of him as, as, as a dead thing, a dead man, it took him saying, come forth. I need you to take this one step at a time. It's going to be a process, but you still got to keep walking. But when he, he rose up, he was still bound and it said in the scripture read it for yourself it says hey he his hands and feet were bound in grave clothes his face was wrapped in a head cloth and Jesus told them unwrap him and let him go so even when it rises sometimes those situations we're in when we still feeling dead down and out uh, we're not completely free um, or wholly free until we ask the Lord to free us from those things uh i'm gonna take this step one step at a time i'm gonna walk this thing out and that's what happened with uh, lazarus on um, this morning the resurrection became a process it became a process 
And that's the same process we've been in for 20 days. Uh, this man, he got raised, but he wasn't still free until he made the move. When he started making the move, then they he said, unwrap him, make him free. Free of everything he's been dealing with in his past. And that's just like us on this morning. If we would just make the move, the grave clothes will come off. We will be unwrapped and we will become free. Whatever it is holding us bound whatever is slowing us down in this race we can become free we just got to come forward and keep walking keep walking tell your sis on this morning i need you to make a move on this morning so before you even get to walmart before you go to target or to or central mall wherever you're gonna go in fort smith on today or wherever you may be before you do any of that you gotta make a move you gotta make a move yes be renewed walk it out you gotta make a move on this morning and what kind of move is that that means i gotta get on my knees and I got to open my mouth and I got to declare it. I got to speak it. We need to be making some moves on this morning, ladies. We got to make some moves. We got to make some moves. And I guarantee you and when you make that move, it's just going to take you one step closer to the freedom that God has promised us, that God has promised us. So on today, I need you to make this your keep walking day. Make this your keep walking day. Amen. Make this your keep walking day. God is calling his daughters to come forward, to come forward. And he says, I need you to keep walking. You want to know what you need to do right now in this moment? I need you to keep walking. You want to know what you need to do right now in this moment? I need you to keep talking. I need you to keep talking. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, Lord, we thank you, God. We glory, glorify you on this morning, God. We give you the glory for who you are, God. We give you the glory for being the almighty God, Lord. We thank you. We give you the glory for being the most high, God. We give you the glory for being a provider, God. We give you the glory for being a sustainer on today, God. Lord, we give you the glory for taking us through the process, God. Putting us in some uncomfortable situations, God, so that we we can uh, understand exactly what it is you're doing in our lives, God. Uh, Lord, we thank you for your word on today, God, that we shall keep walking, God, that you are calling us forth, God, to take this step, God, to take this step one closer to the freedom, to take this step one closer to the promises that you have made for us on today. So, God, we say thank you, God. We thank you, God, and we honor you, God, and we praise you, God. Now, God, um, we give you um, all the honor and the praise that you are deserving of, God. And in your name on this morning, God, we're asking um, that um, that you continue to bless us, God. Bless us exceedingly and abundantly on today, God. Um, I ask that you continue to lift up your daughters, God, on this morning, God. Lord, we give you our yes. We're giving you our yes this morning. Yes to your will, God. Yes to your way, God. Yes to your instructions, God. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we bound up Satan, God, and everything that he has against us, God. And we know that if he's bound, God, then now we can re start to experience freedom, God. Freedom from depression, God. We can experience that freedom from debt on today, God. We can experience freedom from worry on today, God. We want to experience the freedom of, of stress on today, God. We want to just experience freedom for you said in your word that whom the sun sets free is free indeed. So we're declaring it. We're speaking it. We're conquering freedom on this morning, God. We're conquering freedom on this morning, God. So as we continue this walk, God, and we put the kingdom on our shoulders, God, we will continue to stand on your word, God. We will hide your word in our hearts, God, that we may not sin against you, God. Uh, we will go and speak loudly. We will go and speak boldly, God, of who you are, God, so that others will believe it when we say that you are the great I am, that you are a good God, that you are an excellent God, that you are Jehovah Jireh, that you are El, uh, El Elohim God, that you are El, uh, El, 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 El on this morning God, that you are El Shaddai God, that you are the almighty God. So we will go and speak boldly God. We're going to be, uh, be courageous on this morning, God. We're going to walk with courage, God, and we're going to walk in the freedom that you have promised us, God. 
Now, God, we continue to lift up our 21-day day prayer on this morning, God. We're lifting up Sister Dorothy Johnson, Midge Ingram, Charlotte Tidwell, Charlie Cole, uh, Lucy Herschel, God. We're continuing to lift up Christine Mims, God. We know You know that we've been praying for her healing on this uh, on this journey, God. Lord, we're lifting up Satrivia Jordan on this morning, God. Whatever dark place she sits in, God, we ask that you lift her up out of that place on today, God. Give her back her joy, God. God. Give her back her peace, God. Give her back her strength, God. A uh, reminder who she is and that she's an heiress of your kingdom on today, God. So, God, we're asking for a uh, freedom of depression on her behalf on this morning, God. Lord, we're going to continue to lift up the Racy family and Dave Patterson, God, in this journey, God. We ask that you continue to comfort them, God. Uh, give them the understanding uh, of, of, of who you are and what you do and why you do it, God. Uh, Lord, so we continue to lift them up, God. Build them up, God, where they are where they are where they are weak God and make them stronger God um, Lord we continue to lift up every woman uh, that is a part of the women of the nine and we're talking about friends daughters sisters aunts grandmothers mothers we're lifting up every woman on this morning God you know what they stand in need of God so we're asking in your name God if it is your will to let it be done God if that is by way of finances God uh, give it to them right now God in the the mighty name of Jesus. If it's their health, God, renew their health, restore their health this morning, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. If it's peace, God, uh, renew their mind, God. Give them peace of mind on this morning, God. Um, if it's uh, just a, a, a stronger walk with you, God, I ask that you give them that bit of strength that they need to keep walking on today, God. Now, God, we continue to lift up our church family, God. Uh, we ask that you continue to bless the 9th Street Missionary Baptist Church on this morning, God. We lift up our pastor God give him traveling grace and mercy God as he carries out your assignment God um, be with him God give him strength God give him knowledge God um, make him strong God and I ask God that you remove him right now God and fill him with your spirit God so that your people can hear directly from you God Lord we thank you God we thank you God we thank you for our children God we thank you for our children on this morning, God. I ask that you continue to lift them, God. Continue to bless them, God. Continue to show them who you are in their lives, God. Uh, that you are their ultimate source, God. So that they can come running to you, God. Um, Lord, we continue to lift up um, your name, God. We continue to proclaim who you are, God. Uh, who you are in our lives, God. And we thank you, God. We thank you for being God. We thank you for doing what you do, God. We thank you for what you've done. And Lord, we thank you for what you are about to do in our lives, God. So as we keep walking, God, as we keep walking, God, we ask that you take over, God. Take over our lives, God. Take over our emotions, God. Take over our bodies, God. Take over our minds, God. Take over our hands, God, our feet, God. For we are just the vessels, God, and we want to do the work, a good work, God. Because we know that you will uh, not only just um, do the work in us, not only will you start it, but you will do it and you will complete it, God. We are believing you to be a God who performs, a God who produces, a God who carries, a God who lifts. So on this morning, God, we will keep walking, God. We will keep walking, God. Lord, I thank you, God. I thank you for every woman, God. I thank you for every woman who will cross this video on today, God. Bless them now in the mighty name of Jesus. It is in your son's name we pray. Amen and thank you, God. Amen. Listen, ladies, I want to leave you with this really, really quick. It's time. I'm going to read from the book. It's time to harness the unlimited power of your spirit and watch what becomes reality to you. Make today your keep walking day and, con and continue in the things of God, the things that give you courage, faith, strength, and boldness. Against all odds, you will walk directly into the blessings with your name engraved on them. Oh, I love that one. That's my favorite line right there. Against all odds. So just like Lazarus, even as a dead man, he still had some things against him. He had been laying there for four days. He still had an obstacle to overcome. Rigor mortis had set in. 
he was still wrapped. He was still bound. But he kept walking, and there was a blessing with his name engraved on it, just like the woman with the infirmity for 18 years. She just came forth. She took the process one step at a time, and there was a blessing with her name engraved on it. And the same is for you. Against all odds, you will walk directly. If you keep walking, you will di walk directly into the blessings with your name engraved on them. So all you got to do is keep walking. Keep walking. Listen, I'm going to read me one more thing, team. You are prosperous. You are walking in wealthy places. Every single need will be met. You are a distribution center. Oh, and money flows to you free and easily. You are because he is. Oh, that was good right there. I'm going to put that in the group on today. I'm going to type that in the group on today. Engraved with my name on it. Yes. Yes. Listen, today was day 20. And it was just our final push into tomorrow. Tomorrow is day 21 where we discuss that he's a wonder working God. He's a wonder working God. Listen, our devotion on tomorrow will not be live. Um, I will be right here online. Um, but I ask that you uh, keep your pastor in prayer as he travels to Fort Smith um, um, and to come and do the work of God. Keep him in prayer. Amen. And pray for him in his uh, going as he returns home on tomorrow. Amen. Um, I'm lifting you up in prayer. It's, I have a couple of now. I'm working away on those announcements. We probably do a separate day of announcements, but we have some great things that have come out of this 21 day journey that we will be presenting to you, to the women of the nine and your friends and your and your loved ones. We will be presenting those things to you shortly. So um, I ask that you continue to keep walking, even if you haven't seen it done. What you've been believing for, even if you haven't seen it done yet, just know that God's going to do it. He's going to do it. He really is. He's going to do it. But remember that God says, this is a 50-50 thing. I'm going to do some stuff, but there's some stuff that you got to do too. And while we're waiting on God, just consider that maybe he's waiting on you to open that mouth, to open that mouth. Do not let the enemy close your mouth. Amen. So you guys going to make this a keep walking day. Don't forget, I need you to make a move before you hit them streets on today, okay? Make a move on today. Keep walking, and I will see you in the morning at 9 a.m. right here on Facebook Live. Be blessed.